the Canton of Basel Stadt, Atomic Promotion. Uh, we started this, and of course, together with partners, to actually bring together the tech community to create a platform, bring you guys together to listen to interesting talks, have this open discussions, and of course, afterwards, you get a beer and some food <laughs> and have good networking. Uh, also, a big thank you to our uh, sponsoring partners, TINM, or T E N M, Swiss Life, the venue here, sponsored by Swiss Life, Prodaina, Scion, Caracoon, and Intelligent. So, maybe some words to uh, Swiss Made Software. Sorry for those of you who already know that, I'll go fast. <laughs> so, Swiss Made Software, basically, we give a label for companies that do produce uh, software in Switzerland. So Swiss so made like the watches or uh, all these goods we create here. So it's quality, trust, innovation. That's one of the uh, key, uh, uh, <coughs> key, key, how do I say, uh, 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 sorry. So <laughs> characteristics, thank you. Key is very hot. Quality, trust, and innovation, key characteristics of Swiss made, but also, and that has become more and more important in the recent years, is about uh, digital sovereignty. So, having a strong software industry here in Switzerland is very important so we can create our own stuff and the stuff we need. And I think you all are kind of representatives of Swiss made in that sense as a strong software industry, also here in Basel. So with this, uh, we are actually the largest company network of, Swiss, of the Swiss digital industry with 1,300 label, label owners by now, and they have like 800 products registered on our platform. So if you want to find products, uh, software, services, you find that at swissmate.software.org. Uh, what do we do? Okay. Basic, uh, our basic product is the labels. You find them here, Swiss made software, Swiss hosting, and Swiss digital services. But as you see, we also have a platform. We create content like Swiss developer survey, or then events like these. So this said, let's start with, it's about tech number eight. So today we're gonna to talk about gen uh, generative AI. Uh, so we will see how it works, or have some showcases how it works, and then we will discuss specifically also how this will change or in affect the software industry as we know it. Because these large language models can of course also produce or create co code, right? We'll hear about that. So uh, first we will have an introduction by Elijah from the Canton of Baselstadt. Uh, program lead of Basel Tech. And then I'm very sorry that I have to announce that uh, Nikola Miladinovic from Lunistra, which would have been very interesting because he's actually doing that, producing software with generative AI. He could not make it, he had an accident with the scooter, as he told me. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but it seems that he has hurt his foot so. We wish him all the best, uh, very unfortunate. Uh, but we'll bring him back in a later edition of It's About Tech. And so we will have uh, showcases on drug discovery, fraud detection. Actually, you know, this software can also be used by the dark side. And this creates the new criminal energy, let's say, in the, in the cyber space. <laughs> Uh, we'll hear more about that and then we'll go into open source, uh, how uh, lessons learned, uh, how do you employ that, etc. And then uh, we have a showcase on, yeah, that's the one that's not <laughs> coming, using uh, Gen AI for software development. And at the end, we'll have the big question uh, how will a AI change the software industry? And after that, we'll have an open discussion particularly on the big question, but of course, feel free to also ask questions through the showcases, and then uh, we'll have our networking approval. So with this said, I'm happy to give over to uh, Elijah, 
please uh, use your microphone. Thank you. And the pointer. <laughs> welcome also from my side. Welcome to Basel for those who came outside. I'm very excited to represent Basel as a new tech hub. We are planning from the canton to really foster the tech community, the ICT landscape, and in general all digital innovative products that are going to develop in the coming eight years. So the canton really has committed itself to, to foster tech. And we kind of see us as facilitators, as catalysators. We are not the experts, but we have now the financial funds for it, like one million for a year for the come, upcoming eight years. We really want to give this money to you guys that you can do great stuff. So in the end, what we want to see is more startups, more tech companies, more corporations, more innovative products, and also in general, as from a company and from a location perspective, just put Basel on the map. Because when we talk about tech, we, we think about Zurich, Zurich, or when we talk about education, I have two colleagues here, I went to Luzerne to study there. And we have many other opportunities that are not quite well seen in Basel. So we really want to, to foster this mentality to, to showcase Basel as a cool tech place. And yeah, we have started with a small MP website. And I quickly go into the timeline. Like we have started in 2023 with some workshop with the companies, various fields, branches. We have um, been this year really focusing on partnering with big corporates and organizations to, to make this initiative flow. And what I'm excited now is also to offer you the possibility to give us user feedback, like you as a company, you as a talent or a student or developer, to join us for um, the 9th of July for one and a half hour uh, business lunch workshop to kind of give us feedback on our offering that we're going to show you. I'm going to show you three offerings that we are showcasing today. However, there is much more that we have already prepared and we want to kind of have a small setting of about 15 people, so it's kind of limited. So if you're interested, please come afterwards to me to apply or to take part of this workshop. Then in November, we will have our whole program presented before the Executive Council of Basel City. And in 2025, we would love to launch this Basel Tech initiative. So just, this is not the real offering, this is just a copy from, it's about it's tech in some gun. So they create a kind of a community where they really have to focus on talents and Fachkräfte, where they help the companies to get to the talents that they want, or also help the talents to find the companies that are interesting for them. But the, the idea is kind of that we, with the Basel Tech, create a service offering from various stakeholders in general for everyone, but also specific for the companies. So kind of basic service, special offers, where we kind of have marketing offerings, but as well kind of roundtables with politicians or with startups. So depending on your interest, you can find, find tailored project, separate services. And this kind of we want to discuss with you then in this workshop. Uh, what many people have asked me in the coming last years or so, how is development going on about infrastructure? So we also, we also plan to cre create a place to go and more of that, so bring really a development area like we have in King Klebeck. Um, companies that can grow here, that can grow, uh, bring startups, an attraction place, but also the, the whole initiative wants to have a set in place. So, we have started with kind of these flexible locations for where once at Zion, once at Nolia. Now we have been quite consistent here in Klebeck, but we have not decided yet which place is the best. And that's quite a tricky phase when we see all the possibilities that we have in Basel. Also, like we see in Klebeck here, we see the SVB, the UBS has an old building there, also the new Postgebäude there is a huge a building that has a lot of space that we could use. Uh, Dreispitz that we are talking with the FNV IT, so the HSE that is going to start also 2025. And with them, we also kind of developing this lab idea together with students, with companies to foster kind of this infrastructure project. And lastly, we are in a region, so Alzheimer has uptown with the quantum topic. We have Alzheimer, 
this topic with AI, so kind of there is kind of a small hub already developing. Also, they have the ICT campus there. So we we really try to bring all these actors together and create a unique environment. students that joined me with this Boston Tech kind of MVP project to foster certain pain points. We have three other groups. I want to say a group of companies that have developed something. This is just one part we can try to present to you. So we have started already in the last event, showed you that we created this platform and she's going to quickly introduce you what we have created new for you. So who has been on the platform already? Do we have some? <laughs> Nice, good. So, as you have noticed, there hasn't been much action yet, but we are planning to continue with a new initiative called Basel Text Coffee Talk. And that's basically um, how we want to connect you even better. So, we have three re reasons why you should connect or why we think connecting would help and how we would like to help with Coffee Talk. So, reason why, of course, is um, the coffee talks matching, which will take place if you're on the platform and if you sign up for the networking um, interest, is that we will match you with others for relaxed coffee. So you can meet up, you will get a name, you get an email address, and then you just get to know each other. You can share ideas, you can share experiences, problems, challenges, find solutions together, and also just yeah, meet different people from different industries, different interest and just network. So how will that work? First of all, you sign up to the platform, um, you complete your profile, which is very important just so we know what, you, what your interests are, who you are, what maybe also add a picture, that would be nice. And find other innovators or interested techies and be part of the Coffee Talk initiative. As said, you have to add networking as your interest, so you will be automatically sign up to do the initiative. If you can't join, just opt out, no problem, and you will be free to meet up and set a date when it's possible to meet your match. And that's it. Thanks. This has been the team, so I've been supporting them and they have really done a great job so far. And they dodged it out of the free time, out of interest. So if you're interested, also reach out to me. We're going to start next year, uh, next batch, um, because I just have, don't have the capacity now. <laughs> All right, another offering that I'm going to present you is an initiative from the PZBS. So they are the Pedagogische Zentrum Waffelstadt. They have kind of a cool format where they have open innovation talks, where you just go there and with your topic, you create. Um, the whole worship program. And together with mediators and methodologists that, that use this methodology, you can then help them, and now it's the topic of strengthening schools for the future, discuss and come into a, a talk and, and help them be fit for the next years. Uh, you have can register also via LinkedIn. I have also put on some QR codes around. So we have also limited space here, like 10 participants. If you're interested, just gonna follow up. And these are the persons, if you have questions, you can also contact them. I can also hand this out later. And lastly, I would like to present Ivan. Thank you very much, Nigel. So three minutes, right? I got three minutes from this guy, so let's, let's give it a try. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ivan Sanikola, I'm the CEO and founder of Interfuse, one of my founders. We're based here in Basel and we're about to go live this summer, end of this summer. So what is Interfuse doing? In one sentence, 
we're actually doing what's written there, and I'm gonna read through, but basically we want to facilitate the... Oh, I'm sorry, thank you. We want to facilitate that uh, whenever there is a need for a solution, there is an efficient tool which actually, on, out of one hand, is providing all the information needed on a legally safe ground to make people aware which company, which, which, which piece of information, which person, which publication and so on is given there to uh, solve the problem and who you should talk. Um, when we start uh, solving a problem in, non, you know, in different industries, what we're doing typically is we're looking around what kind of information is out there. We're going through patents, for publication, we're going to events, we're spreading it in our network, we're visiting uh, universities and research centers, and we're trying to build this landscape of knowledge. And what we're doing is actually this within seconds. So you prompt in, you get a solution, and you have a direct wire to the people to collaborate with. There is a physical and a um, virtual space which we created, and this looks like this. Unfortunately, Launch Labs is going to move, so our contract with them is going to shift somehow, but we are at Eschenplatz here in Basel. It's a co-working, co-creation space where our members, this is how we earn money, through membership, but through a yearly membership, we get access to both uh, rooms, let's say, or both spaces. And why uh, is that important? I believe there is no other tool which is going through different industries, different academia, different, um, you know, uh, different disciplines and combine them in a legally safe ground with the efficiency and background, uh, the additional transparency because companies or entities usually don't state what they can do but what they do actually or what they sell and uh, all with the goal to actually combine or put the right people together to innovate. I don't want to read through these voices. We have uh, found 25 experts in the background which uh, are coming from what you see here below, uh, helping us uh, shaping this solution in the right way. And yeah, these are the founders. We are three medtech specialists from the medical devices uh, industry and academia. We are one uh, person uh, from finance and we have two uh, senior software developer developers which actually program the software in the background. So how does that look like? This is a typical uh, now screenshot of our website or our web uh, solution which is showing only the, as you can see here, the initiative hub and the initiatives, my three minutes are over, I need to, need to stop now. The initiatives are uh, timely, not bound, timely bound and uh, events, so I talk one day. And with these initiatives, this is how we want to create life on that ecosystem that people actually prompted in, it remains vigilant, it finds you what at the time are needed and then combines it with the right people which uh, then foster collaboration and hopefully also innovation. This is where we are, uh, scan the QR code, thank you very much, have a good rest of you. So in the end it's about connecting the dots, this is just three offers that we highlighted now quickly and there are much more to come. If you have an offer, also reach out to me. If you think your product, your idea could help the tech community, then please contact me. So these are your codes, they are up there. And thank you very much for being here, enjoy and stay and network. <laughs>